Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tyne and welcome to my YouTube channel. I finally got my hands on a Mac Studio with the M1 Ultra chip. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It only takes a moment and it really helps to support this channel and the work that I do. So let's go ahead with the unboxing. Right now I'm going to go ahead and start opening it up. And now we're gonna flip open the box. I don't have enough space in my kind of cramped setup here, but basically now we have this Mac Studio here. I'm just gonna lift this out. Inside we have a braided power cable with a British plug on the end. So the last thing is that we have this set of instructions here. We've got this little guide here to all of the ports at the front of the back. Here we have the standard kind of warranty information. What Mac purchase would be complete without a cool black sticker? So on to the main event. I'm gonna look at this little tab here and pull all of these to the side. So this is the bottom of the Mac Studio. We have this air grill at the bottom. We have a security lock here. This basically looks like a kind of supersized Mac Mini. And basically the majority of this computer is taken up by the cooling array. So air is going to get pulled in from the bottom and then it's going to be expelled from this huge grill at the back here. This is because the insides of this are taken up by a huge copper heat sink. And at the back here, we've got some really good IO, some USB-A ports, HDMI 2.0 port, audio port, power cable, ethernet. And then we have four Thunderbolt 4 ports here. And then for the very first time, we have some front IO. We've got two Thunderbolt 4 ports here and an SD card slot. So this is very cool. We now have IO from the front, which we didn't have with the original Mac mini. So what I'm gonna do now is to boot this up and then do some initial performance testing. So what I've done is I've hooked up the Mac Studio to an old keyboard and mouse and I've connected it to my 4K 28 inch monitor and this is running at 60 Hertz. However, I'm going to be doing benchmarking at 1080p. So if you want to check out the benchmarking video, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description or you can click on it on the end screen box. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this unboxing video. I've got lots of other tech videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.